Let's use Excel Solver for cost optimization in project portfolio management. In a previous video, we showed how Excel's goal C can be used for project cost management. The link to that video can be found in the description below. Now the question is, can we use Excel to optimize costs for not one project but a complex portfolio? In this video, we'll explore the answer. Here we work on a quantitative optimization example related to a group of nine CLT construction projects. We'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel that sets the objective function, main variables, constraints, and solution methods. These include generalized reduced gradient or GRG nonlinear, simplex LP or linear programming, and evolutionary method, which uses genetic algorithms. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Excel Solver can be used for a range of operation research or in other words, OR problems. With only four simple steps in Excel, we can perform cost optimization for our project portfolio management based on the project management body of knowledge or PMBOK. Step 1 is to identify main variables and set constraints. Suppose you are a project manager responsible for coordinating a portfolio of projects. As project IDs suggest, there are 9 construction projects to build structures out of cross-laminated timber or CLT. Total cost for each project is comprised of labor, material, and overhead costs. We can find the total cost for each project by clicking on the relevant cell and pressing the equal sign. Then use the sum function to add up costs of 3 main variables. As an example, the sum of costs for project CLT001 is $70,000, and for for project CLT009 is $150,000. The total portfolio cost is the sum of 9 project costs, which adds up to $878,300. However, the client has set a target cost of $800,000 for the portfolio, and our goal is to optimize costs across three main variables of labor, material, and overhead costs to meet the client's target. Based on this scenario, our first constraint is to cap the total portfolio cost at $800,000. The second constraint is related to material costs, and our client wants them to stay below $70,000. The third constraint is imposed by our company, which demands overhead costs to be more than $8,000 in each project. The final constraint is related to the total cost of each project, which must be less than $143,000. As you can see, we are dealing with a complex multivariate problem with several constraints. Now we have concluded the first step in using Solver for cost optimization in project portfolio management. Step 2 is to load Solver add-in and create placeholders for optimization results. By default, Solver is not listed in Excel's menus. To load the Solver add-in onto the Data tab in Excel, navigate to the File tab and click on Options. Then under Add-ins, select Excel add-ins and click on the Go button. Finally, check the Solver add-in box and click OK. You can now find the Solver in the Data tab in the Analyze group. We'll be using Excel Solver for our portfolio cost optimization, but first thing first, we need to create placeholder columns for optimized values to prevent original values being overwritten by the Solver tool. Simply copy-paste original costs to the placeholder columns. Now we can click on Solver to open its dialog box. Under Set Objective, you can cell reference the portfolio cost in our spreadsheet, which is $878,300. Then Set Objective to value of $800,000. We need to achieve our target value by changing three main variables, which are cell referenced in the next dialog box. First, we select Labor Cost Figures. Using comma separation, the second and third changing variables of material and overhead costs are self-referenced. The portfolio cost optimization is subject to a number of constraints, which can be defined by pressing the Add button. In the open dialog box, we should sell reference material costs, which need to be smaller than our constraint of $70,000. Then press Add for the next constraint. We can sell reference overhead costs, which must be greater than $8,000. Press Add again to define the final constraint. We should sell reference total project costs, which has to be less than $143,000. Next, press OK. Finally, we can check the box below to make unconstrained variables non-negative. This concludes the second step in using Solver in Excel. Step 3 is to select a suitable solving method and solve the multivariate problem. Since we can specify at least three solving methods in Excel, it's important to consider the most suitable choice. Generalized Reduced Gradient or GRG Nonlinear is one of the solving methods and is best suited for nonlinear problems. In its most basic form, GRG looks at gradient or slope of the objective function while input values or decision variables change. It determines that it has reached an optimum solution when partial derivatives equal zero. The second method of simplex LP is based on the theory of linear programming and is used to find the optimum solution to problems with linear constraints and objectives. 
The third solving method is the evolutionary engine, which uses a genetic algorithm. This method starts with a random population of input values, which are plugged into the model, and results are evaluated related to the target value. Input values that result in a solution that's closest to the target value are selected to create a second population of offspring. The offspring is indeed a mutation of the best input values from the first population. This process continues until there is very little change in the objective function from one population to the next. The evolutionary method is particularly useful for highly nonlinear problems and is generally very slow. For the cost optimization in our project portfolio, we choose GRG nonlinear and press the solve button. In a few seconds, you can see both baseline and optimized values side by side. As can be seen, the target value of $800,000 has been achieved for the portfolio cost in our constraint programming. This concludes the third step in using Solver for project portfolio cost optimization in Excel. Step 4 is to view and validate Solver results in Excel. The optimized total portfolio cost was achieved by changing three main variables of labor, material, and overhead costs. However, it's important to validate optimization results using some available methods. Firstly, double check your formulas and constraints to make sure all are correctly set up. Secondly, check if the solution meets all constraints and whether the objective function is optimized. Thirdly, if initial results are not satisfactory, fine-tune your model by adjusting constraints or initial values of decision variables. Fourthly, compare the results from Solver with other optimization tools, including MATLAB, Groby, and IBM CPLEX optimizer. Finally, perform a sensitivity analysis to understand how changes in the inputs affect the outputs. This can help identify which variables have the most impact on the solution. Please note that Solver's solution is based on the model you've set up in Excel. If the model doesn't accurately represent a real-world problem, the solution won't be valid. Finally, let's focus on viewing and understanding Solver reports in Excel. Solver provides various reports that can help analyze the results of optimization problems. Once Solver has found a solution, the Solver results dialog box will appear. Select any reports you are interested in. Then click OK and the selected reports will be generated as new worksheets within your Excel workbook. Each report will have its own tab, usually named Answer Report 1, Sensitivity Report 1, and Limits Report 1. The answer report shows the solution time and also objectives, variables, and constraints are reported in separate tables. The sensitivity report provides information on how the solution might change if the problem parameters were to change slightly. The limits report provides the upper and lower limit for decision variables within the problem constraints. And here it is, an easy solution to portfolio cost management using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. Again, you can access the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. To watch more videos like this, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you in the next one.